Hello, now let me demonstrate how to use the LTI tool generation app for the Blackboard Learn Ultra Navigation. So first I will show you what uh, the custom LTI apps do and then we'll walk through uh, creating one. So in our Ultra Navigation under Tools I have a selection of uh, uh, LTI links which often uh, come from vendors uh, such as uh, Box or Echo. But then we might have our own uh, links that we would like to expose here such as maybe our uh, Lightboard Studio or uh, let's say uh, Microsoft Plus from uh, the um, community system. In addition to the tools area we can post these links based on the role um, under institutional page. So uh, as faculty we might have some links here uh, in the custom modules uh, such as the Lightboard Studio but also maybe the Retention Center, the Multi-Course Retention Center and again uh, these are going to uh, be uh, displayed as LTI tools. As a student I might uh, want to see specific uh, sources such as uh, the career services which happens to be a specific course in our system that allows our self-registration. So let's take a quick look at how to uh, deploy this. Following the blog post we're going to start by navigating to the uh, LTI tool generation app then we're going to uh, register the domain then we'll follow steps to create placements and then we'll deploy them. So this is the uh, generation uh, app and uh, first uh, you will want to go to register the LMS so that you can get your key and secret and then we are ready to uh, approve uh, the domain. So navigating back uh, this is done of course under the LTI tool providers and uh, I went ahead of time and uh, uh, follow through on that step of uh, approving the domain. So from here we are ready to create a placement. Now we're in step two. Uh, to create a placement uh, we're going to first uh, find the resource. So uh, for our resource uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, use uh, the uh, CDC website. Uh, perhaps uh, we have a need to uh, uh, show some uh, flu information to students uh, as an example of course uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and use uh, the CDC's website. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, just call it uh, flu information and uh, we can go ahead and create a handle. This should be a unique handle so I would encourage you to uh, maybe uh, even use uh, numbers to make sure that uh, you're not going to run into some conflicts in the future. Availability, yes. And then we'll make it into a system tool. Making it a sim system tool uh, will allow us to place it in the tools menu and then we, we can actually manage uh, whether or not we would like to uh, uh, show it by role. Uh, if we switch availability to no, it will be removed from the tools area but we still will be able to insert it into a custom content area. Okay with that being said we'll go ahead and uh, 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 grab an icon. I prepared earlier uh, a little icon and uh, we'll go ahead and use that. It should be a 50 by 50 pixels uh, image. From here we're asked to provide tool provider URL and this is where the next step in our uh, generation app comes in. We're going to put in the destination of where our LTI tool should be reaching and then we'll go ahead and say generate it. So the URL that we're looking for is down here. So we'll go ahead and copy it and we'll simply uh, paste it in as the tool provider. Alright so at this point uh, Notice that I did not select the launch in a new window. This is an important checkbox. For most of your tools you should go ahead and select it 
because otherwise it will be embedded in the frame and as we know today with cookies embedding in, in frames uh, can be problematic. Now, I checked uh, the CDC's website and they do not uh, require the higher level of um, privacy and so this is going to work fine. Uh, I'll demonstrate exactly why keeping it in frame uh, sometimes is, is beneficial. So at this point we approve the tool and we are ready to navigate back to preview it under tools. We now have the flu information uh, and notice that when I click on it it's going to go ahead and open inside of the frame so that I can close it, stay within uh, the Learn app and then again uh, to reopen it. Now other tools uh, we do want to have the checkbox selected. For example, I have um, I have a link here to uh, a section of uh, the help system on Collaborate. And uh, in order for this to work well, uh, we have to separate that into a new window. So that's what the checkbox is. And sometimes you'll see an empty screen. As you click on the tool, there will be an empty screen. Well, that means that you have to open it in a new window. Okay, so at this point, let's see if we can deploy this in the custom content on the institutional page. We're going to go ahead and create uh, custom content. From here, notice that we have the option to add an LTI item. And so we'll go ahead and select our flu piece. And then we'll also uh, select uh, an additional one let's say the collaborate one. Notice that at this point I have a choice to um, modify the name so maybe I'll say something like collaborate for students. And as you insert these links uh, there will be spaces created which can be removed. Uh, you have to use the uh, delete button instead of backspace. If you backspace it'll actually remove the above item but if you do delete it will nicely put them together. So at this point I can go ahead and save that and notice that I can now navigate to the site I just uh, pointed out uh, and we can of course uh, separate these modules by audience. So I hope you found this helpful and again uh, the uh, idea here is to uh, help uh, with the adoption of the ultra navigation system by being able to provide links to content uh, of uh, various types including specific courses or uh, community system tabs or specific building blocks which are embedded into uh, modules. Thank you.